Vehicle manufacturers are faced with a challenge. What level of vehicle identification to fit in order to meet varied legislation and insurance requirements in different markets without incurring excessive cost and often in the absence of benefits for them or their customers? SBD has been closely monitoring this area and has released their findings in the latest report, A Global Strategy for Vehicle Identification. In this video, we explain why vehicle ID is important, what the challenges are in implementing vehicle identification, major drivers for vehicle ID, SBD's approach to making an effective strategy for vehicle ID, and we give details of how to get your copy of this new report. Thieves are looking to make money from theft and to avoid being caught. Where vehicles are sold on, criminals will change a vehicle's identification. This is called cloning. Cloning is a big issue, especially with rising involvement of organised criminal groups and higher involvement in vehicle theft across the globe. If a vehicle looks genuine, there's more chance of making a quick sale and moving on. If vehicle identification is good, then it's harder for a thief to change and any tampering is easier to spot, making recovery of the vehicle more likely. A good identification strategy from manufacturers therefore makes a vehicle less attractive to a thief. If they know it's there and they know that it's difficult to change or remove, they could choose another vehicle to steal entirely. Insurance companies, law enforcement and customer pressure groups, they all have certain demands on the levels of identification that they would know and expect. Legislation varies by country and insurance criteria will give different benefits. For example, in the UK, Thatcham criteria is comprehensive and gives incentive for all sorts of different identification types, including visible VIN and additional body labels. However, in South Africa, the focus is now on new microdot legislation. This is all before you even consider the different approval levels and detailed requirements that could be different in each country, even for the same feature. The challenge for the manufacturers is a matter of cost versus benefit. Fitting a range of different identification solutions has a massive cost implication for the manufacturer. There's then another concern of whether identification is actually checked. Many covert identifications might have a benefit from a theft resistance point of view. However, how many people then know to look for it? If the police don't, there's no purpose. Fitment therefore tends to be more of a reflection of local legislation or insurance criteria before manufacturers consider any further voluntary fitment. In this report, we consider each of the types of identification currently available and rate them in these three areas. We also take a detailed look at legislation and insurance for each country. The challenge is to find and fit vehicle identification that thieves either don't know about or can't easily change, that investigators and the public can easily check, and that proves cost-effective for the vehicle manufacturer. In this brand new report, that's exactly the question that SBD look to answer. If you would like to learn more about this report and how you can purchase your copy, please call us on 01908 305 101 or email us at info at sbd.co.uk.